very happy camp tonight, Paul, would you say, after that uh, battling performance? People were saying in the stands today, we were talking to them beforehand, they sort of asked the supporters that were saying, they were saying they would have took a draw today, but to get all three points, that's uh, it's a massive result today. Well, it, oh, most of the home games, in fairness, we need to, we need to show the, the initiative, um, and I think we did that in spades today. Uh, we really took a game they poured it down. Um, a worry for me recently has been second half performances have been a wee bit slow, but today wasn't. You know, we got back around to play after half time and we were excellent. We had made numerous chances, and I think the goal was deserved when it came. I mean, to start off in the first half, I mean, remember, should have obviously have been 1 0 at least at half time, and Matthew getting through and having a good chance. The back four were solid, or back three, sorry, today were solid. Big Kyle Owens was fantastic all across the park. I mean, you couldn't fault anybody at all who, who wore that shirt today. Well, that's it. You, you, need, you need at least nine performances, and that's what we had today. Um, I actually think Johnny Fraser had a better chance to score in the first half when Josh mm. Bitterman. He should have scored, really, um, and that would have really settled us. But the game, that, that, them games are always easy. Portadown's about experience. They play, they have a certain style, which is difficult at times. They're obviously coming off the back of two defeats, which can be work to your advantage and your disadvantage. You know, so today they show what they've got. They've got a bit of pedigree. They stayed in the game with their experience. And uh, as I says, they made it hard work for us. But as I says, in the main, I thought we could try to control the game. We tried to do the right things. We're getting better with the ball. We can still be better, particularly when it turns over. But in the main, particularly in these pitches as well, you need to have that. But in the main, it was a, a really good 1-0 victory. And again, just to hold back from even from last week against the Arge, I mean, the goal away, obviously with just a draw. Did you say it was a bit of a statement we made today, obviously, for the league? Well, Portadown's obviously favourites and people's looking at them coming down. So they're, they're adjusting to the league and they'll come good because they've got a good manager and, and they're a good side with good players. So I'm happy we played them at this stage of the season. Well, and listen, last week I was happy. People think you know, we lost points. We haven't. You know, Ards went away and won today. Ards have got our momentum. They're, they're a proud team. You, you have no divine right to go to any away game and won it comfortably. So, like we've we've had four points from six on the road. So that's brilliant. Um, so the the fact is, you know, the league's tough. It's not compromised. It doesn't matter if you, as this is last week. It doesn't matter if it's Porter down, Newington, who obviously have won four in the bounce since we have played mm-hmm. them. So fair play to them. And that, that was our first half performance against Newington was outstanding because we were really good with the ball, kept them out of the game. Um, and as I says, there was a lot of that today as well in this game, um, except maybe we should have done a wee bit more towards the goal in terms of our, our final ball, our final cross, our final pass. But I can't fault the players. Their effort, their commitment, their respect for what they're doing is, is brilliant and I appreciate every, every effort they're, uh, that they're making at the minute. And finally, obviously, take the positives from today away. Now we've got a, a game on Tuesday night against Bally McHeish in the County Androm. We're going to see a bit of a look, different looking team come up on Tuesday night, or is this, sort of, is this a competition you want to focus on oh, this season? 100%. Listen, it doesn't matter what. It's a first team game, and the County Androm is a great competition, um, and we need to do well on it. So there will be changes because it's, it's a hot day today, and there's a lot of players with shift, put a big shift on. Um, and there's players who deserve to play as well. I've already told one or two who are playing um, to get ready for Tuesday night. So I'm looking forward to Bally McHeish. A really good uh, Premier Intermediate team mm-hmm. come on, uh, they're, they're, they've got a proud culture, they're really hard to play against, they've got a good direct game, so we need to be at our best if we want to get something out of it um, and go to the next round. And they're going to come, obviously, wanting to come to our physical team, they're going to come here and try and cause an upset. Nothing to lose, Fair, no. nothing to lose, so we're obviously have the, have the onus on taking the game to them, and that's what we'll do, as I says, the boys in who want to stake a claim on the team, that's their opportunity on Tuesday night and give me something to think about for the Institute game next Saturday.